Hello everyone. I am Professor Sapna, and in this video, we are going to start the basic of Excel. Let's uh, start the introduction to the Excel. Now, what is Excel is used in the various organizations. The it is also called as a spreadsheet program, and we are able to do the calculation. We are to perform the pivot tables, graphs, tools. Various options are available in the Microsoft Excel. We can use these on operating systems such as Windows, Mac OS, and Android. Excel spreadsheet can be understood as a collection of columns and rows that forms the table. So to the spreadsheet or worksheet which consisting of rows and columns like a table. Alphabetical letters are used to assign to columns and numeric numbers are usually assigned to rows. So let us see one Excel sheet. So as we can see here, this is called as a spreadsheet and we are able to see that all the columns are named alphabetically from A, B, C, D up to Z and then it is start A, A, B, A, B, A, C like that. So this is what the spreadsheet and the rows are numbered as integers from 1 to 8 onwards. So Excel spreadsheet can be a collection of four rows and columns. So alphabetical letters are usually assigned to the columns and numbers are usually assigned to the rows. A point where columns and rows meet is called as the same. So suppose I am selecting this, my cursor is here and you can see that it is a cell. It is called as a cell. The address of the cell is given by the letter representing a column and the number representing a row. So if I am selecting a this cell, this is represented here and this is called as a name box where F5, name of my column is F and row is 5. So F5 which, uh, is here available in the name box. Suppose I am selecting this another cell, so this is G4. So this is how we can able to read the cell. So J8. So in that particular name box is representing the name of selected cell. So this is how Excel and for uh, today's lecture we, uh, we are going to see the interface of the Excel and what the part, what these parts are called as. Then first of all, we must know how to open the Microsoft Excel. So the various versions of Excel are available in Microsoft. It depends upon the, your Microsoft Office suit. So if your Office is 2007 and so uh, and 13, up to 13 versions are available for Microsoft Excel. And how can we open it? So if we uh, if we are having a Windows 10, you just select here, or you can type after selecting this window in the search box. You just type MS Excel. So MS Excel. So in my computer, uh, I have installed Microsoft Office 2007, but there are various versions available up to 13, 19. So you can take any of the version and you install it, and then you can open it from this. From this search bar, you just type it, and it will show you the installed version here, and you click on the open. So Office Excel is being opened now. So this is our new Excel workbook we have opened. Again, there are uh, we can able to open uh, Excel by following the steps. Click on the Start menu, point to All Programs, point to Excel, and click on the Excel. So likewise, we can open our Excel and we can use it. So understanding ribbon. So next topic 
Now I am for the group and closing it now and we are already open one Excel file here. So this is my uh, Excel file and we can able to see from this. This is called as a title bar where I have given the name as video one. Microsoft Excel. This is called as a fit toolbar. Office button. This is kind of an office button. Here we are able to see or create a new Excel. We can able to open the ready readily available Excel, save, save as print options are available here. So this is what office button. This below this uh, quick toolbar and office button, so we have the this ribbon and these are the tabs. So we are having home tab, insert tab, like our word, Microsoft Word, we are having home tab, insert tab, page layout. Formula, data, review, and view. Seven tabs are available. And this is called as a ribbon. So, understanding the, now we are going to see understanding the ribbon. So, ribbon provides a shortcut to the command in Excel. A command is an action. That user performs an example of command creating new document, printing document. So, this is a command given to the Excel. Right. So, all these are available on this ribbon component. So, let us uh, discuss the ribbon component. So ribbon start button. So, as I have shown you here, this is, a ring, uh, this is a button. So ribbon start button. It is used to access the commands such as creating new document, saving the document, printing the document, accessing the option. Then ribbon tab. So these are the ribbon tabs. Home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review and view. So these are the ribbon tabs. So by default, uh, we are having home tab open. So ribbon tabs are used to group a similar commands together. Home tab is used for basic commands such as formatting data and make it more presentable. Sorting options are also available here. Finding a specific data is also available in the ribbon tab. Next, we are having a ribbon bar. So, if you are uh, clicking on this button, uh, these are called as the ribbon bar. So, clipboard. In the home tab, we are having clipboard, font, alignment, number, all are the ribbon bar. Style, save. So we can see over here alignment bar having the alignment option only. So alignment related all the options and the commands are available in the alignment bar. Next is here is font. Inside this we are having font bar. So in the font bar we are having the all formatting related options. So this is what called as ribbon bar. So next. Next is worksheet. So, worksheet is a collection of rows and columns. When the rows and columns meet, they form a cell. So, we have already seen this. A cell means, uh, it's a collection of all rows. When we are selecting a particular uh, uh, row and column, a cell is being selected. Each cell is uniquely identified using the cell address. Columns are usually labeled with the letters, while rows are usually labeled with the numbers. We have just seen that this is called as a cell. So I have selected the cell I7 because name of this column is I and row is 7. So this is called as a cell and the address of the cell is displayed over here. And this part is called as name box. Name box. So worksheet. Next is workbook. Workbook is a collection of Worksheet. Workbook is a collection of worksheets. So by default, the workbook has three cells in Excel. So by default, three worksheets are there. You can delete or add more worksheets to suit your requirement. So let us see practically how can we create or delete more worksheets. So by default, the sheets are named as sheet 1, sheet 2, like this and so on. So you can rename it also. We can also rename it. 
Uh, okay, I am showing you how it is. So this is called as a worksheet. And if you are having the various worksheets here, so by default there are three worksheets. So I have given a rename it, renamed it as Excel basic. You can also rename it. So for example, if you want to rename the shift to, you just right click over here and click on the rename option and you are able to uh, rename it. Mm. New shift. So right click over here and click on the rename option. So likewise you can uh, rename the particular sheet, otherwise the uh, by default sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, these are the available. And you can insert the new worksheet also just by clicking here. Sheet 1, again it is giving sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. So number of sheets we can add. So workbook, what is the workbook there? A workbook is a collection of all the sheets. Okay, a workbook is a collection of the worksheets. So in this example, we are having six sheets. One is Excel basic, new sheet, monthly record, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. So these are the six sheets available in this one workbook. And what is the name of this workbook? Video one. Video one is the name of my workbook. So we have discussed, uh, today we have discussed rows and columns and cells. So rows and columns. So you may uh, have one question in your mind that how many rows are there in one uh, worksheet. So in one worksheet, the number of rows available after 2007 version of Excel, we are having 10,48,676 10, rows. Okay, so in Microsoft Excel 2007 onwards, the uh, rows available is 10,48,576 and the columns are 1,600,384. Columns are available by default, by default. Okay, so this is what the rows and columns and cell we have discussed. Then we will discuss about the scroll bar. Scroll bar, if you are uh, having two scroll bars, horizontal and vertical, So here, horizontal and vertical scroll bar, if you click on this arrow, this is how it is going and vertical, uh, horizontal scroll bar, you can click on this arrow to scroll, to scroll left to right and right to left and this is a horizontal, a vertical scroll bar, to scroll top to down and bottom to stop. So we have discussed rows and columns, scroll bar, tab. I already told you these are called as the tab. Seven tabs are available for Microsoft 2007 version. Then ribbon. So this part, the whole part is called as ribbon. Then quick access toolbar. So quick access toolbar means where there are a button here. Uh, icons are available for saving. This button icon is available, undo, redo. Only these three options are available for Microsoft 2007 version. So this is what we can see bar. Then we have seen about the name box. So this is our name box where the particular cell is selected. The name of that cell is being displayed over here. So now name box. Besides this, we are having a formula bar. So in this formula bar, if we click here, a uh, dialog box appears and we are able to insert the formula. For inserting the formula, we will see this detail in the next section, next session. But we must know this is part as a formula bar. Then zoom. So in this uh, right bottom right corner, we are having the option zoom out and zoom in. So the percentage is now 110. So zoom option. Then we are having the sheet. So uh, we have already discussed the by default there are three sheets and we can also add many more sheets. We can also rename it and the uh, collection of all the sheets is called as workbook. 
next file name so this is a file name or workbook name that is video one okay and then we have discussed the columns are named as the columns are named as alphabetical whereas the rows are in a number format so workbook and worksheet so workbook is a collection of worksheet and worksheet is a collection of rows and columns so uh, simple data entry or uh, we have we can able to insert a data just select the particular cell and click here double click over there and you are able to write here and this is how i have inserted something whatever i am typing here it is ready displaying in the formula bar selecting the range now if i am selecting this only the one single cell is being selected if i select like this this is called as selecting a range now my range is from f6 to k12 range means i have selected from this cell to this cell so from f6 to k12 k10 so this is my range then saving the workbook so for save we are having the option and click on this save already i have given the Name to this that is video one, so it is already there. Let us switch here. So we have today we started uh, introduction to the Excel and we have discussed that how to open it, what are the uses of Excel, and what are the terminologies that we are going to use in Excel that is worksheet, cell, workbook, sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. Then we have discussed the ribbon components of Excel workbook. And in the next lecture, we will discuss the all these tabs one by one. And we have also discussed the number of rows by default number of rows. Ah, uh, ten lakh forty eight thousand five hundred and seventy six, and columns are sixteen thousand three hundred and eighty four. So these are the number of rows and columns available by default. So that's all for this lecture. Thank you.